This is the last video on proportion. Till now, what have we learned? One, the basic theory of proportion, continued proportion, mean proportion, and third proportion. Today, we will solve some problems from exercise 12c of proportion. This is question number 7 from exercise 12c. The question is, do the ratio 15 cm to 2 m and 15 seconds to 2 minutes form a proportion? The first ratio is 15 cm is to 2 m. Because the units are not same, so we have to convert it into a same unit. Therefore, let us convert this meter into centimeter. So, 2 meter equals to 2 into 100 centimeter. That is why we get 15 is to 200. Uh, and if we divide 15 and 200 by 5, because 5 is a common divisor for both of them. So, this is 3. So, this will become 40. The next one is 15 second is to 2 minutes. Since these two units are not same, so we are converting 2 minutes into seconds. So this is equal to 15 seconds is to 2 into 60 seconds in the same way. So this is 15 and 2 into 60 is 120. So this we can divide by 5 again. So 5, 3 is a 15, this is 24. So this is, uh, we can divide it 3 again. So this is 1, this is 8. Now we can see that 3 is to 40 is never equal to 1 is to 8. So that means they will not form proportion. Okay. Let's move to question number 9. The question is 10 kg sugar cost Rs. 350. If x kg sugar of the same kind cost Rs. 175, find the value of x. In the question, it is given that 10 kg sugar cost Rs. 350 and x kg sugar cost Rs. 175. So, we can easily say that the ratio between x and 10 is obviously equal to the ratio between 175 and 350. So, that means we can write that 10 is to x equals to 350 is to 175. Now, the product of the means, that means this one, so x into 350 is obviously equal to the product of the extreme, that is 175 into 10. That means x equals to 175 into 10 by 350. So, we can divide by 5. Now, x equals to 175 by 35. So, 5 sends up. This is 5, 3. This is 5. x equals to 5. So, that means the value of x is 5. This implies that 5 kg sugar cost rupees 175. Now let's move to question number 10, subpart 2, the same exercise. The question is, the lengths of two ropes are in the ratio 7 is to 5. Find the length of the longer rope if the shorter one is 9.8 meter. Solution. Here are two ropes. One is longer and one is shorter. The, we have to find the value of the longer one. So therefore, you assume that the length of the longer rope is x meter. Okay. So therefore, the ratio between the longer rope and the shorter rope will be x is to 9.8. Now, according to the problem, x is to 9.8 will be equal to 7 is to 5. Okay. So x into 5 is 9.8 into 7 that implies x equals to 9.8 into 7 divided by 5. Okay. So x equals to 
this 9.827 is 68.6 divided by 5. So let us divide 68.6 by 5. 68.6 divided by 5. So 5, 1, 8. This is 3. No, this is 3. Point will come over here. So that means this 6 will come. This is 7. This is 35. This is 1, 0, 2, 1, 0. Okay. So 13.72. Therefore x equals to 13.72 and 13.72 meter that means the length of the longer rope is 13.72 meter students please be careful about the unit so in this whole chapter we have learned basic theory of proportion continued proportion mean proportion third proportion and we have solved some daily life problems using proportion thank you Thank you for watching this video. I hope this is helpful for you.